Well, hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Hope your Sunday is going well and welcome to Second Chance Sunday. Uh, and if you're watching this going, hang on a minute, Second Chance Sunday? Yeah, we brought it back. We have brought it back. It's kind of like your weekly wrap up show where we bring you the 10 best items of the week and we count them down chart styly. If you remember you know, the, the, uh, the music charts and the radio and you tune in on a Sunday, it's a little bit like that. So uh, see if you can play along in the comments, see if you can work out uh, what is gonna be at number one. The items that are gonna feature in the top 10, maybe you've got a particular favorite, uh, see where it's gonna chart this week on Second Chance Sunday. As always, one of our social superstars uh, will be live in the chat for you as well, so you can chat along with them and chat along with everybody else who is watching today. But safe to say, loads of great goodies coming up for you. Um, we are going to sort of feature three of those top 10 items for you over the course of this show, but everything else is available for you to jump in and buy. Uh, just make sure you hit the shop, the show button on the website to see all of those deals. Not just me, I'll be doing the counting down, but who is going to be doing the demo? demonstration and the inspiration it is the one and only uh, Lily Fletcher I feel like this has sort of come full circle for us because we sort of started the week and now we're finishing the week absolutely yeah I hadn't thought about it that way but yeah I, I've always said for years and years and years I love a second chance Sunday mm. so I'm delighted that we've brought it back and I love this new format it's quite fun quite funky quite fresh and we have got some amazing products coming up throughout the course of this hour we're gonna sprinkle in a few demos as well to hopefully get those creative juices flowing on a Sunday uh, so I hope you can join us for the full hour it's gonna be a fun one that's yeah. for sure it certainly is, as I say, feel free to comment along uh, with everybody else who's watching and our social superstar. But in true Second Chance Sunday style, uh, let's get ready with the first half of our countdown as we count down uh, the first five items in the top ten. I won't do my silly voice this week, or maybe I will. <laughs> In at number 10, it's the Cheers to You collection. We featured this on Cartload, actually. You've got all the stamps, all the dies in there. It's just an absolutely fantastic collection. Uh, still at that half price deal. In at number nine. Uh, it's the Ultimate Pro with the box board. What a show we have with Sarah uh, back earlier in the week. If you missed that, go back, watch it for all of the inspiration and ideas and loads of hints and tips with the magic ruler. This week's number eight great mate is the floral cut and emboss folders. Again, a lovely collection uh, that you can pick up. See details are on your screen right now. Brilliant prices on all of these with some huge savings to be had. This week's number seven is the Luxury Mirror Card Pads. Again, if you want to see these in action, uh, go back to the masterclass with Sarah earlier in the week. She was making some fantastic projects with these uh, from cards to beautiful boxes. You can get all of the inspo from that show. And this week's number six are some of my faves, actually, the Corner Edgeables collection. Missed the launch of these, of course, uh, but we featured them a lot throughout this week, and these are absolutely fan blooming tastic. Uh, get your hands on those. Details on your screen and the price. Uh, and, of course, um, you can see the show from earlier in the week. So that's your top six, or your top first five. Uh, we're going to go now to number five, uh, which you guys I know absolutely loved. Had the launch of these uh, previously, but again, featured a lot this week. In at number five, the decorative nesting dies collection. Uh, price on these is phenomenal, £36 or $44 for the full collection. I can show you these, and then we're going to get onto a demo um, with Lily. These are brilliant and um, very different perhaps to nesting dies as you might normally imagine them um, because what you've got with these is the ability to do all of the things that you would normally do with nesting dies but then the decorative dies Lily, haven't you to be able to decorate mm -hmm. your die cuts. Absolutely and we've got that sort of um, sort of like a two for one with these yeah. because you've got that cut in and cut out element with each and every single one of these die sets. We will be having a look at that when we move through to demonstration but look at all those dies you're getting with each and every single set. You're getting seven dies in each set, you're getting a whopping amount of dies there mm. uh, and lots for your smaller cards, for your larger cards as well definitely a crafty staple that we need in our stash they certainly are and all of these different shapes that you're getting so you've seen the um, oval there the squoval that we had mm -hmm. Uh, a little bit earlier on. That was something new that I learned earlier in the week. It's all to do with nails, apparently. Um, so Lily was telling uh -huh. me. Uh, you've got your star in there as well, which I think is my favourite from the set. And then last but by no means least is that beautiful heart. You're getting um, seven dies within each set. And then, of course, you've got your six sets there. So 42 dies in total. 
36 pounds or 44 bucks is your platinum price same price as when we launched them so a great opportunity to pick those up if you miss them but let's see these in action easy to use are they to create with Absolutely, and they are so much fun to, to play with because it doesn't matter what your crafty style, maybe you love mixed media, maybe you love clean and simple, it doesn't matter at all because you can mix and match these with what you already have in your crafty style. Yeah. And that's, for me, it's why I absolutely love nesting dies. They will work with everything that we already have or maybe that we'll be adding to our crafty stash at a later date as well. Now I'm gonna be a little bit naughty. I know we've got our countdown. <laughs> But I might be giving you a little bit, maybe a sneaky piece of something that might be coming up later it, on it in the It might not have made the top 10, this thing. It might be it at might not. 11. Who knows? Maybe so, maybe not. But I'm going to be using some of our fantastic gold shimmer ink pads. We've been featuring these throughout the week here on Crafters TV as part of our Colour Me Happy anniversary. And these have been proving super, super popular. So yeah. I thought, you know what? Let's create our own background using some of our gold shimmer ink pads. We're just using two from that range. We're using the Gilded Sky and the Midnight Shore. We're going to use these to create our very own background. We're starting off with a piece of watercolour card, cut down to seven inches by five inches in size. And all we're going to do is going to take our glass mat. You can work onto your craft mat. That will give you a slightly different effect. Uh, but for this technique here, we're going to use our glass mat. Mm -hmm. Taking our ink pad, I'm just going to smoosh some of that colour out. Smooshing. A little bit of a smoosh there, technical term, yeah. uh, as all the pros will know. <laughs> and then let's bring in our gilded sky and we're going to fill out uh, at the area. We're filling out an area of ink that's roughly about the same size of our card, okay. uh, but we're not needing to be really precise or anything like that. This is a very random, very quick and easy background that you can even get the kiddies involved in creating. It's super fun uh, to do this one. A little bit of a spritz of water using our fine spray mister bottles. You will find those on the website. I know they were featured in a mystery bag as well. Wonder if the mystery bag's going to feature in the I top 10. I do wonder. Oh, the jeopardy, eh? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> if you want more of a watery background, spritz your car stock as well first. Uh, but that choice is yours. It'll just give you a different uh, sort of effect. And then we're just going to place our car stock, our watercolour car stock, face down into our um, ink that we've got there. And we're just going to continue to sort of pick up that ink. If you're thinking you're wanting to add a little bit more water, then absolutely go ahead, add a little bit more of a spritz of water to uh, dilute that a little bit. And we're just going to drag our uh, cardstock into that colour, picking up all those gorgeous colours from our glass mat mm. and just creating our own custom coloured, really funky, arty sort of background uh, onto our watercolour cardstock. How cool does that look? So it's up to you. You can leave um, some areas white. I think that gives you quite a nice uh, effect to give you that break in the ink. Or you can uh, really go to town and fill that out with an awful lot of colour. That choice is entirely yours. Something I like to do as sort of the last stage here is I like to go in and sort of drag the cardstock along the edges there. So it sort of frames a little bit like ink in the edges, but a bit more, a bit more random, a bit more uh, mixed media, if you like, just to frame uh, that piece there. Quickly going to uh, wipe off this mat. We don't want our gold shimmering everywhere. Mm. Uh, so give them that little, little wipe down. And these will wash off super, super easy. Uh, just um, some warm water or a baby light wipe like we're using here will do the trick. Mm -hmm. Then we're just going to quickly blast that just to dry it. So you can leave this to dry naturally. It will take, well, just I say about 10, 15 minutes this will be fully dry. Does we'll it matter just... whether you heat it or leave it naturally? Not at all, really, because I've not got an awful lot of water on here. It's not going to move that, that ink around too much. If this was really, really wet, then by force drying it, what you would do is you would end up actually moving around some of that colour. But because this isn't too wet, it's more damp than anything else, yeah. it won't really make too much of a difference. But just because we're a little bit impatient, we want to get on with the die cutting, we are just force drying this using our heat, heat tool here. As that starts to bend, just turn it over and then heat from the reverse side and that will help to flatten that back out. And that's that, all good to go, all nice and dry, ready to be die cut. And you can see as that right. dries, that shimmer starts to come to the fore a little bit more. You can see those lovely gold flecks, just using two colours of those inks. I know it yeah. doesn't show as well on camera, but in the studio you, can, you see can see that lovely gold luster. Now next up, let's do a little bit of die cutting. And here we're taking some of those beautiful decorative nesting dies, this one being our hexagon. And we're gonna use this to create our background. We're gonna cut some apertures into uh, this piece that we've created here. So let's take a few of our different dies. And like we were saying earlier, you've got so much we'll cut out and so much we'll just cut in. By using them together, you can get those cut in and out elements that we'll be looking at uh, a little bit later on as well. But we're gonna take these two dies here so we've got the solid one which we'll cut out and then that one there which we'll cut in the detail and then we're also going to take this beautiful uh, sort of stitched effect die there as well really like uh, the effect on that one i think it's mm. lovely uh, so we're going to take these 
I'm going to bring some of our low tack tape into the situation. Definitely make sure that you're always taping your dies down when you run them through your die cutting machine, uh, just to make sure that they don't move uh, as they go through that machine. And these will even go for the our mini, I guess, as well, won't Absolutely, they? Absolutely, yeah. Even the smallest of die cutting machines, yeah. the larger one will even fit through those. It just depends, like we always say, uh, on the size of your piece of cardstock. Yeah. Here, it's five by seven inches in size, so we are um, using our junior plates. But if you have just got the um, smaller die cutting machines these are going to still work an absolute treat which I love because if you are new to crafting it means that these are still very much usable for you guys at home as well uh, it doesn't sort of discriminate depending on the size of your machine so if you are new to crafting you're thinking do you know what uh, I think I need a few nesting dies to get me started to help yeah. with those mats and layers to help frame my designs then these are going to be absolutely perfect so just running that through our die cutting machine now we want to make sure that car stock was completely dry before we um, actually go to die cut just because otherwise some of that ink could transfer onto your plates. Not the end of the world as it will just easily wash off uh, but it does, um, does work a lot better if you make sure that your, um, your car stock has dried first. So you can see there we've got that piece that we could be using. We're not going to be using it for this particular design, we're actually using the negative but of course you can be using that. Um, you can be doing almost like a little bit of a two for one with that one if you so choose. Yeah. So just take a moment, of course, as we always say, as your tape goes through the die cutting machine, it does always get a little bit more tacky uh, than when it first uh, sort of started life out. So just take a few moments to uh, ease back that tape. We always say to try and tape on your waist, but because uh, we're actually using this full piece here, it's not really possible for these sections to tape onto your waist. Can you detack it a bit then before you stick it? Is you can absolutely, yeah. Do? Yep, uh, I mean, if it's a piece that you've used a few times as yeah. well, uh, then that will help too. Uh, but let's oh, just That's a good point, actually. Back. So the one pieces that you've used, you can just maybe stick on the side of your die cutting machine and just go again with them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You'll always see on the side of my die cutting machine, I've always got lots and lots of pieces uh, of our low tack tape, just because it's obviously the best idea to reuse it. Mm. No point throwing it out after you've used it just the once. Okay, so now we've just die cut three into there like so. All we go ahead and do is we'd repeat the same technique, but just on the lower half of our, um, our car stock here. So it's almost like a mirror image, yeah. top and bottom. You can see I've actually used exactly the same inks to create this background, but how different does it look? Love the fact that with this technique, you will get a different look and that's feel it. every single time. It's really cool that, isn't it? I absolutely love that. So that's our piece here, all die cut and good to go. Only difference with this one as well is I've just added a piece of acetate behind and I've also added in some of my foam tape. We've got two compartments here, which will enable us to actually create our shaker. And we've got a piece that's gonna go behind just like so. Ooh, okay. We'll start to layer up our card now. So what we'll do to start with is we'll take off our foam tape so here using our nice thin foam tape, this is the one that can actually bend around curves. If you want to create those funky techniques uh, where you may be doing shakers around circles, I mean, we've got the gorgeous uh, circle dies in this collection. You could be turning the actual nesting dies themselves into shaped shakers. That would look super funky. Uh, so this tape will allow you to actually go around those curves. Are you going to be putting in different styles of shakers? Is that why you've put the frame across the middle? Well, I'm not for this one, but the reason why I chose to pop the foam across the middle, if I didn't have that line there, yeah. It would allow the shaker to drop all the way to the bottom ah. there, so we wouldn't have any glitter shown behind this one. Mm -hmm. But of course, like Ben says, it does work nicely to have different sort of inclusions into those two different compartments. That choice is entirely yours. Now, if you're a little bit worried about pouring your glitter in, you can actually use a funnel. So just oh, okay. pop a funnel uh, onto there and pour your glitter into your funnel rather than directly into your... Could you use the funnel from the... Um, what's it called? The care yeah. kit? The was care it, kit? Oh gosh, yeah, the shimmer spray care kit. Do you know what? I never thought of that. You absolutely could, yeah. Great yeah. idea. Ah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, there you go. So if you, especially if you don't want to touch the uh, glitter. Yeah. I mean, this is quite a chunky glitter. It doesn't get everywhere as much as your fine glitter does. Some people are a bit funny with the feel of glitter, aren't they? Yeah, I have to say, when it's chunky glitter like that, I don't mind it at all. Ah. When it's fine glitter, I'm not the biggest oh, of really? fans. Oh really? I didn't know yeah, that. It gets about everywhere. You. Gets okay. absolutely everywhere. Funnel might be the way then. Yeah, absolutely. So with this, this is a little bit naughty, I have to say. This is a sneaky peek of something that's launching tomorrow. Whoa. We're using the B-side. But if anybody knows what flower that is, that will give you a clue of what's launching tomorrow. Mm. But we're using the B-side. I just want that lovely gold fleck onto there. And we're just going to pop that onto the reverse there, just like so. It's cut ever so slightly smaller than 5 by 7 so we've got a little bit of space just around the edges. And then we're going to make sure that, that is 
glued into position. Now you can that. see there, you've got your two lovely shakers. And because we have that extra line of foam, uh, we've got almost like the two compartments. Now let's start to layer up our card base. So we've got some black card, which is going to go onto some teal card. Lovely, lovely uh, colour of teal. I have to say, I do love teal. Teal and gold, I think, is a super classy uh, colour yeah. combination. Really like that. So think about that launch tomorrow and then, um, well, tons of launches <gasps> next week, actually. I know. Is there six, I think I want to say? Uh, one, two, five. three, four, five. I five. think five. We've got one on Monday, one on Tuesday. Yeah. One on Wednesday. Oh no, it's six. It one is six, isn't it? Yeah. Because technically one in. Well, we've got I we've got say. two on Friday. Yeah, two on Friday. It's an exciting week, I have to say. I do not know how you guys at home will choose uh, between them all because they are absolutely stunning. They're all quite different as well, which I think is uh, lovely. Maybe so, ring the bank manager now and just yeah, warn him. Let him know now. Beans and to on toast for the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, lots and lots of exciting. At least we're doing up. it towards the end of the month as well, so yes. you know there's like a paycheck on the horizon yep. as well. Uh, yeah. Light at the end of the tunnel, as they say. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right, that's just going to go into the centre there, and that's our card laid up. Now that's just our background. This is where we're going to bring in uh, some of our, our other nesting dies. So we'll leave that to one side for just a moment. And this is where I'm going to show you how fabulous that cut in, cut out element is with these beautiful dies. So let's take a piece of white cardstock and let's take the largest die. Now the largest die here is just an outer cutting line. If we cut that on its own, all it's going to cut is a lovely uh, hexagon shape, which is great. But if we want a little bit more detail, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the next die down. By cutting them together, not only will that cut that beautiful detail into your cardstock, it will also cut that detail out so we've got that topper that we can be using on our cards. So all we need to do is just line this up so we've got an even border between the two dies here. Just take a few moments just to line them up until you're happy with where you've positioned them. Waste will be around the outside, so try and make sure you tape onto that outer section and we'll be using that inner section. Making sure we're taping both to our cardstock and taping the two dies together. Yeah. Then all we're going to do is we're just going to run that through our die cutting machine. That's going to cut us out that lovely detail. Now I'm thinking with quite a few of these dies in the collection, especially the larger ones, how about doing some of your ribbon threading? That's a great idea, I think that'd be actually. lovely. Mm. Even with the smaller designs like this, maybe really thin ribbon, or maybe if you've got some lovely embroidery thread, that would work an absolute treat as well. So all we need to do is we just need to ease our die out of here. And you can see we have got this design that's cut out of our cardstock just like so. That lovely detail, I'm thinking thread all those ribbons yeah. through. Maybe a little bit of twine if you're going for a masculine mate, that would work a treat as well. Uh, lots of uh, sort of scope when it comes to these gorgeous dies. As well, we could have actually brought in that next die down. Using that in the centre, we'll then cut that out as a frame. So that gives you yet another option. Then you could be adding your shaker elements behind that as well, which would give you another alternative. Now, if we go back and if we take that largest die that we have just used in conjunction with that cut-in die, if we cut this on its own, what that's going to give us is it's going to give us a lovely hexagon design. Mm -hmm. I was going to run that through without tape, but Lily, that's not wise. Get some tape on it. It only takes a min minute uh, to add some tape on, uh, but it's worth just this making This particular sure. shape as well might work well with um, at least a, cu well, a couple of the launches that we've got this week. Uh, definitely tomorrow's. Yeah. Definitely tomorrow's. And um, there's one later in the week, isn't there? Thursday. I think it will work quite nicely with Thursdays. Yeah. We have got some cracking launches. Thursday's next week. launch. Thursday's launch. Is you, unreal. It's one of those things that you guys at home have asked us for so many times. I know mm. for myself as a crafter, it's something I need in my crafty life, that is for certain. It's almost like one of those viewer requests, as they yeah. call them. It's a little bit like that. You guys are going to love it. I know a few of you at home, if you did watch on HSN, you have got a little idea what I'm alluding to. But some of you might not. But so some it's of you fun might talking not. In riddles. Oh, yeah. Some of you probably sat there thinking, what on earth are these plunkers going on about? Who knows? Who knows? But we will find out. Right, we've done a little bit more die cutting just ahead of time, just to speed things along. So we've cut another of our uh, solid hexagons, this time from our black cardstock. We've got that one that we've cut there already. We've got the smaller solid from black. And then that stamp might be coming out tomorrow, quite possibly. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but let's do a little bit of inking. If we pop this straight onto our card base here, it's quite stark, that white against that lovely inky background. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our gilded sky. Taking our blending tool 
and let's just very lightly, very gently ink the edges. So the thing about these uh, fabulous gold shimmer ink pads is yes, we can create our inky mop-up backgrounds. Yes, we can be the ink in the edges of our car stock with them. We can even be watercolouring with them. So to do that, all you need to do is just take your ink pad, uh, smoosh a little bit out onto your craft mat or your craft sheet, any sort of non porous surface, and then just use a damp paintbrush or a water brush to pick up that colour and you're going to be able to paint with them to get the most beautiful shimmering uh, sort of watercolour effects onto your stamped image. That looks amazing. So a little bit of ink there will make a big difference to tone this card together nicely. Mm. And then it's just a case of actually starting to layer up our card. Now these two hexagons here are actually exactly the same size. So obviously if we lay them over the top of each other, then we wouldn't see the black underneath. So we're just going to give that a little bit of a drop shadow. Okay. Just to give that extra little bit of interest, you don't always have to have a larger die uh, to be able to get that frame. And you can use exactly the same die and then just drop shadow the one underneath. Just a little pop of black there does make a difference. Now let's take our um, lovely teal one here. And then because we've got that detail around the edge, we're just going to go in with our dotty tape pen around the edges. And we can also be adding some of that solid tape pen into the centre as well, just to make sure that's nicely adhered onto our uh, solid hexagon. And because obviously we use the same die around the edge, outer edge, we know that they're going to be exactly the same size every time. That's the beauty of die cutting. And then we've got exactly the same idea for this one, where we've got the black uh, same size hexagon where we can actually drop shadow that one beneath just like so. And then for a little bit of lift, we'll take a foam pad. We'll pop that into the center of uh, the smaller one just to raise that up from our larger hexagon beneath. And that's just going to sit into the center like so. And then that's just going to be our uh, sort of focal point to our card, just that's making brilliant. sure this is folding the right way. Oh, I did have, did have a little bit of a faux pas yesterday. I was, oh, yeah. di I was die cutting a creator card it directly into the front of a card. Yeah. And I poked all the pieces out and oh, I was having a look no. at it. I was like, this, this don't look quite right. And I die cut it upside down. I was oh, like, no. Yeah, that's probably why it, uh, why it doesn't look quite right. Send it to Australia. Yeah, yeah. So, Sarah Brown, if you're watching, there's, <laughs> there's a card winging its way to you. <laughs> oh, I tell you what I was using for that. I was using Tuesday's launch for those. Oh, uh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Tuesday. I mean, Winging its way was a very appropriate saying I, like for that what you've as done well. there. There's I one um, mm -hmm. thing for that particular launch, which, I mean, there, there, there's, are there four things in that launch? Yes, there yeah. is, yeah. One of those four, um, unbelievable. Do you know the one I'm talking about? Is it the one that matches with tomorrow's launch? Yes, it is. It's amazing. It's, it's my absolute favourite. It? Yeah, it's so, so <laughs> good. Also good for the gents' cars as well. Yeah. Honestly, the amount of teasing on this show is absolutely unreal, isn't it? But you're going to have to make sure you tune in next week. But all about the uh, amazing products from this week for this card, using some of those gold shimmering pads with your fabulous uh, decorative nesting dies to create something a little bit different with your shaker card. I have to say, I like that. A few different techniques on there, but actually really quite easy to create. Yeah, really fun. And again, with a set like this, you've got genuinely loads of different possibilities and different ways to be able to use them. And isn't it nice that they are um, a set which you can use no matter what the size of your die cutting machine is. So um, a really fun, funky set. You're getting 42 dies in total, don't forget. Um, and just 36 pounds or $44 if you're platinum. So it is um, still the price which we were um, asking for at launch that you're getting today as well. And you get all of these different designs, of course, as well. So um, the nesting hearts, which are beautiful. The stars, which I love. I think those are absolutely um, brilliant. And again, perfect for sort of cards for all different occasions. You've got your um, seven piece nested ovals in there. Um, alongside that, the one we've just seen, which is the uh, beautiful decorative nesting hexagons. Uh, there's that uh, circle. And then last but by no means least is your square. I keep having to think about that one because that's the square. Oh, I think you'll squoval. find it's called. Yeah. Redo the packaging. It should be squoval, not Send it back. Send it back. Send it back. Send it back. Uh, yeah, grab yours. Uh, as I say, full details about all of these and all of the uh, other goodies from this week uh, you can find on the website. And stick with us because when we come back, we're going to be having a look at the top uh, five items for you. Plus, we'll be uh, demoing with what's at number four in a mo and counting down the top four items. What do you think could be at number one? Hmm, I wonder. Um, keep shopping, keep checking the web and come back to us in about three or four minutes time uh, to find out the top four items in this week's Second Chance Sunday.
day to day looks like on a normal day when I'm working from home um, get up breakfast um, quick phone call with my daughter and then in the craft room and I spend all my time in the craft room if it's spending a day with the grandkids it's that's it that's my best part of the day just spending time with family and those gorgeous little grandkids of mine the best part of the day when I'm at work is when I go on air because I absolutely love it both I prefer a shower in the morning I feel fresher I feel that I can tackle my day however depending on how that day's been I also would have a double shower so I'd have one in the morning and one at night too absolutely 100% coffee will always be coffee and flavored coffee is my favorite at the moment Dare I say it, a full English breakfast, the full works, the beans, the tomatoes, the bacon, the sausage, and everything else that goes with a traditional English breakfast. Craft along. Every day of the week, um, I absolutely love going through the stages from the start of a project to the end of a project. So craft along is definitely my favorite choice. <laughs> I can't leave without my lipstick. <laughs> It's a, it's a given thing. I once didn't have a lipstick on me and Leanne helped me out that day. Kick off the shoes, sit down for a couple of minutes, just gather my thoughts and then grab my tea. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome back everybody. I hope your Sunday's going well. This is Second Chance Sunday. Um, if you want to comment along, of course you can. We've got one of our social superstars in the comments. Do chat with each other and uh, see if you can work out what is going to make our top four this week. We will do the rest of the countdown very shortly, but I'll tell you what's in at number four this week because that's what we're going to be looking at next. Uh, it's the Illustrator Pen Collection, four-piece collection, 48 pens you're getting in total, and what a deal. Uh, it's the same deal that we brought to you when we launched these uh, back on Monday at the start of our Colour Me Happy anniversary. Uh, you should be paying £100 or $180, but you get the four sets, so 48 pens in total, for just £52 if you're platinum, or $96. And I know we've had lots of our different pens on the uh, shows over the course of this week no particularly on the cartload show we were featuring on the classics these are the illustrators of course again dual ended pens alcohol markers but of course these are the ones uh, with that fine nib and then that really beautiful expressive japanese brush nib so um, allowing you to do all your coloring all your blending but allowing you to get more expression into uh, your coloring particularly good for coloring things like uh, fur and hair and all those sorts of things lovely array of colors that you're going to be getting within this set as well uh, so you're getting your 12 piece landscape set you've also got your uh, figure in there as well so kind of colors which might be great for doing more of your sort of um, portrait coloring you've got your seascape in there too lots of blues and greens uh, within that set and then you've also got your uh, sketching as well um, I did have the notes for this earlier in the week, but that is an incredible price, isn't it? £52 or $96, working out that at, oh no, he's done it now, £13 a set, £13 a set, which is, if you're platinum, which is incredible value for money. Uh, if you're in the US, uh, that is 24, no it's not, yes it is. 24 pounds a set, isn't it? 24 dollars a set, rather. So real great value for money, great opportunity to try these out. And if you're a fan of the illustrators, uh, a great opportunity to um, stock up because of course your pens will run out eventually. Um, 
And you did a demo with these back on Monday. So again, I kind of feel like we've come full circle because you're going to play with them again, aren't you? We are. Oh, this is, this is quite surreal, isn't it? I know, it's weird. Strange. And I just had a thought as well. Yesterday's craft along was with the decorative nesting dies. I'm sure it was. This is, this is getting quite spooky. Quite spooky. It's almost like we planned it all. It is. I wonder who plans the schedule. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, <coughs> illustrators. I have to say, actually, my very first set of illustrators was a figure set. Is that right? Yeah, so my very first set. I actually got it bought as a gift. It How was many, a very, very good gift, believe you, mate. How many years ago? Well, I've been colouring with Classiques for 12 years. Always makes me laugh when you say that. 12 years. 12 years. Uh, I'd probably say maybe about get eight years, maybe. But you're still using the same set? I've still got a few of the same. Obviously, I've added to that set. Oh, yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. I've got them all now. I mean, like, that goes without saying, doesn't it, really? 216, isn't it? Yep, 216, mm. yeah. Wow. Yeah, but my very first set was a figure. Now, they are fabulous pens. If you've never seen these before, if you're familiar with our classics, then they're going to be super, super easy to work with mm. because we actually have the same sort of uh, naming system with these. So, and what I love about these is we don't just give you a code, we give you a name. Yeah. And for me, I, I have to say, I love some of the names. I think they are brilliant. So, whoever named these, pat on the back, you've done well a good done job. Well done, you. So, we have our letter and number name as well. So, the letters, as always, same with our classics, it's the colour family. So, B.O. Burnt Orange. B -O. So, B.O. 1 is going to be your playlist in your uh, Burnt Orange family. Something like a B B.O. 5 would be a lot, lot darker. Yeah. As you move up those numbers, you do get those deeper, those darker tones. So, B.O. 1 is going to be that playlist in the B.O. colour family. What we have with these pens is we have a dual, uh, dual nibs on these. So, on one end, and this is the one that's marked with that little uh, bar there, this is your super, super fine mm. bullet head. I mean, my goodness me, look that at that. Fine. That is super fine. I mean, it's so fine. You could literally, you could be doing your calligraphy with that. It is that fine. You can be doing your handwriting. You can be doing maybe a little bit of a doodling with that one as and well. And you've got lovely handwriting. That's not my handwriting. I'll show, show oh. you my handwriting. I have to say, I do, at school, that was one of my favourite lessons, handwriting. And was it really? Yeah, joined very sad, joined, yeah. Joined, joined up handwriting, yeah. the fountain pen. Yeah, uh, yeah I do, do love a bit of handwriting. But if, if you're into your calligraphy, you can be doing it with that super fine bullet nib. Mm. Or if you've just got really fine uh, detail stamps, then that one is going to be ideal. On the other end, I have to say, this is my favourite of the two nibs. The quality of this is absolutely incredible. This is our brush nib. It is silky, silky smooth. You can get those fantastic flicking effects. You can be getting into those fine nooks and crannies as well because it tapers to such a fine point. It is absolutely incredible. Look at that there. Mm. It's, it's got the perfect density as well, not just in terms of the fact that you need that right density because if it was too soft, you'd be putting it down, it'd be sort of wiggling about all over mm. the place, which is not what you want, but you want enough flex in there so you can actually get around the corners. So the density is important for that, but the density of that nib is also super important in terms of the flow of ink from that barrel to that nib. If you've not got that right density of nib, then what that can mean is that that ink can pool and flood through that nib, so it ends up flooding onto your you page. But because yeah, which is not what you want. You don't want to, you don't want to splodge. You don't. But because we've got that perfect density to that brush nib, it means that that flow of ink through the barrel to that nib is perfect. So you're going to get that lovely lay down of colour. No pooling, no splodging onto your cardstock. Now, if we bring in a stamp, oh, I was going to say a stamped image. It's not really. It's ben, do you remember these? I think we launched these years and years back on a uh, Colour Me Happy on a Sunday morning. Card from colouring pads. The, oh, do yes, I do. I don't, I don't remember that image, but now you said it, I do yeah. remember those. Yeah, we oh. did it Christmas and every day. That's and a I'm couple sure of years ago. It was got to be a couple of years ago. I'm sure it's me and you on a Sunday morning when we used to do Colour Me Happy on a Sunday yeah. morning. I'm sure it was us two that launched them. I think, I think it was, yeah. yeah. That's some of my absolute favourites. I love these. If ever I want to do a little bit of colouring, I'm mm. like, not sure what I want to colour. Can't even be bothered to get my stamp platform out. Just get a page through one of these, get colouring. So that's exactly yeah, what we did. You we've said it was a Christmas one as well, wasn't it? It was a Christmas one, yeah. And then yeah. the every day, yeah. Yeah, every day came first, so we did the Christmas. Yeah, I love these. I think they're fabulous. Mm. Of course, you know I love my butterflies and flowers. So we've gone for this gorgeous image here. And I want to show you how fabulous that brush nib is. So we've got four pens here. Now I'm gonna, gonna be a bit rebellious, as always. You know what I'm like? Whenever there's a ruling crafting, I'm like, mm, let's see if we can break that. Mm. So we always say to blend within your colour family. So here we've got our orange colour family of one, two, and three, light, medium, dark. But we're also gonna bring in that BO1 for a little bit more uh, variety. So let's start off with that BO1, which is gonna be our lightest. And we're going to focus on a small section. I'm always saying work in small areas. Don't try and colour that whole, whole butterfly. Although we are going to be colouring the butterfly in the same colour, don't do that whole section at once. It's a little bit overwhelming, especially if you are new to colouring. 
And what it means as well is you won't be working when that ink's wet. And what you want to do is you want to be working when that ink's wet. It's a lot easier to blend through wet ink than it is to blend onto dry card. So working in those small areas will make that a lot easier to get that smooth blend as well. Starting off with the base of this wing, you can see that beautiful quality brush nib, how effortless it is mm. to flick upwards. Now, do just have a little play if you're new to brush markers. Some people find it easy to flick downwards, to flick upwards, to flick side to side. Whatever you find easiest for you, uh, just have a little play with that. Totally recommend as well if you have got uh, one of our Totally Tiffany rotating design boards. That's they can be idea. fabulous as well uh, to sort of move that cardstock. So I always say turn your cardstock, turn your artwork, rather than trying to bend your wrist into uh, sort of awkward angles. Makes it a lot easier to just turn that, that piece of paper. Then let's go in with the palest of our orange family here, our OR1. Remembering that the lower numbers are going to be the paler tones. And as we move up to those darker shades, uh, we're going to be moving up the numbers to those higher numbers. We're blending over, we're flicking downwards. So we're going slightly over that join where we've got our BO1 and we're going slightly over that join, but we're not completely obliterating uh, that paler color tone that we've got underneath. And we're just going in and filling in that area. It's so easy to blend when you've got that lovely flexible uh, brush nib on these pens. And something a little bit different for me, I bet you were expecting I was going to bring out the pinks and the purples, yeah, maybe I the know. blues it's as not, well. Yeah, not normally what we'd expect from you. I know, absolutely. I was looking at the pens this morning, I thought, do you know what, let's go mm. for something a little bit different. We need a little bit of warmth, a little bit of sunshine in yeah. our lives. Oh my goodness me, I don't know about uh, down here yesterday, Ben, but it was hailing at mine last, last uh, yesterday afternoon. Hailing. It, we had... It, it's been weird. The last few days have been similar and it sort of tricks you into thinking it's going to be a really nice day because it's mm -hmm. been quite sunny. And then all of a sudden you just get an absolute like monsoon, like a huge downpour. Mm. It's, um, it's awful. They said that the same again today because I mean, you know, it's a bit cut. Well, it's freezing today, isn't it? Well, it I mean. is. I can't believe how cold it was. It was that in, in the in the wind. They said it's minus one today. No. Yeah. Uh, <gasps> but we've got a nice big band of rain coming in later on this afternoon. Of course. Apparently. So, That'll but. be just in time for when I walk home. You, yeah. you watch now. Yeah, you watch. It, 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 it waits, doesn't it, the weather? It's like, it when's does. Lily leaving the building? <laughs> It's, yeah. either, it's either when I uh, leave the building here to walk home or as soon as I step outside for a run. Yeah. Always the same. Yeah. Always Producer the Johnny same. just saying school run as well. That's another time. Oh, gosh, yeah. 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 Oh, it's not what you want, not what you want at all. But I couldn't believe it hail. I was like, come on now, it's April. Yeah, Getting nearly on for May, May. Let's be honest. Yep, it is nearly May. A couple of weeks away from May. Oh, I did feel terrible. I was, I was uh, at home yesterday and were, my uh, neighbour's opposite. Uh, so I, from sitting in my craft room, I get to see my neighbours opposite and see um, their, their driveway. And they're having a bit of work done on the driveway. So the, the builds had come out uh, to, to work on the driveway. Start the day, beautiful sunshine. I bet they were thinking, oh, I'm loving this. Working outside, this is the life. And then about 10 minutes later, it started hailing. And I thought, oh, my goodness me, you don't want to be working outside in this sort of weather, do you? So uh, I did, did feel a bit guilty sat there, nice and cosy in my craft yeah. room. But Be you, pointing and laughing at the builders. Yeah, me, just <laughs> me with a cup of tea, a few biscuits, nice and nice and happy and, and warm. They're outside in the hail. <laughs> but yeah, hail, what is that all about? I mean, come on now. I've had to mute one of my friends on uh, Instagram because he's currently in Cyprus. And oh. Every morning when I put Instagram on, there's like pictures of him on the beach, oh. um, you know, in 30 degree heat or whatever it might be out there. So uh, <laughs> mute, mute that for a week. Yeah, we don't want to be looking it? at that. Absolutely not. <laughs> So going back to the start of the story, that's the reason why I chose these lovely colours. Yeah. I thought, do you know what? We need some, some warmth in here somewhere, don't Warm we? Warm us up, yeah. Absolutely. And all we're doing here is we're moving from those lighter tones to the darker tones. So we've got that shadow, that shade into the centre uh, of that butterfly. The blend on these mm. is absolutely seamless. Even though we've mixed colour families, because don't forget that colour at the bottom there was the burnt orange family, whereas all the other colours are from the uh, sort of standard orange. Because um, we talk a lot about the tri-blends being a great way to start with blending yeah if you're used to that system are you just putting the same sort of mindset of how you use your tri blends to when you use your illustrators except you're just picking the colors right absolutely yeah and you know what if i quickly i'm going to quickly go and grab a tri blend <coughs> from uh, i'm running away don't worry i'm coming back so this is how easy it is so you can see i've been working with some of my burnt orange blends which is a bo1 here, this is our, uh, our, it's almost like the equivalent tri-blend, if you like. Yeah. So if you've got tri-blends in your crafty stash, what you can do is you can look at the side, you can go, right, this is burnt orange blend, it's consisting of BO1, BO3 and BO4. So if you've got illustrators with those same codes, then you know those three are going to blend together mm. perfectly. So it's almost like copying the tri-blend. So if you've got the tri-blends already and thinking, what's going to work, what's going to blend. Well, first of all, look at the same colour family. Mm -hmm. I'd say if you are new to colouring, don't start mixing your colouring families. 
as you progress a little bit more then absolutely go for it like we've done here but stick to the same colour family but if you're not 100% sure just grab a tri-blend that equivalent colour family have a little look at the pentones the numbers that are blended together there and you know that's going to work absolutely perfectly so uh, whether it's your normal tri-blends or your tri-blend brush it's the same sort of idea now very easily you've seen that from start to finish those two wings there It'd be the exact same technique for the other two wings. You build up that colour, but how dimensional does that look? It almost looks like it's glowing, I have to say. Yes. Uh, I do love that technique, but how easy is it to blend with those pens? Because you've got that fantastic quality brush, that Japanese brush, and if you've got the quality alcohol ink in the barrels as well, you're going to get that beautiful flicking each and every single time. Seamless blending, but so, so much fun to blend with these. I absolutely love my illustrators. I say every pen range is my favourite, so I'm going to stop saying <laughs> this one's my favourite, this one's my favourite, because they're all my favourites. But these are Depends absolutely what you're fantastic. Working with. Yeah, I always say whatever I've just used is my favourite. So at this point in time, my favourite is illustrators. In 10 minutes time, it might be different. <laughs> Um, brilliant, brilliant deal though. And like we said, the great thing about Second Chance Sunday is to give you that second chance. So it's not like we're coming back on a Sunday and going, oh right, this is the deal, but now you're paying full price. We, we bring back the prices for you that we were looking at earlier in the week. So if you missed out on these, and maybe you've had that light bulb moment, because that's what I kind of think, you know, um, if you're using like the, the, the tri-blend and you're used to that sort of three, uh, that one pen system with the three colors in, you think, oh, you know, I want to get on with the illustrators, but how does it work? brilliantly explained there by uh, Lily. You've just got to maybe re-reference what you used to do with the tri-blends and then check the colours that you're going to be getting. Because as you go through these packs here, you know, whilst here, you know, you get a couple of yellows here, a couple of greens, a couple of blues. As you go through the packs, the more pens you get, the more um, of the, the different colours you have in the different shades. So you will then be able to blend them a lot easier. Um, but don't fret about it too much at all, really. Um, within your sketching set, uh, as I say, you know, you've got your daffodil here. So look, CT1 and the canary, CT3. So you've got a couple from the same colour family uh, there right away. Um, here again, look in the green. So that one is your beautiful uh, yellow green. And then you've got your, um, does that say salad? I should have put my glasses on. Yep. Yeah. So again, LG2, LG4. So you can see how this works. You can see how this works. These are going to uh, you know, blend for you absolutely perfectly. Um, again here, this one. Why am I trying to read these? Need me glasses. I, I can read them if you want. Which uh, one are we trying to read? Hang on. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Jamie's coming in for me. Pe pearl blue. Don't tell me, Lily, don't tell me. Gosh, I, do you know, the same. Onion. Denim. Denim. Oh, my goodness me. The same should have gone to Specsavers. It's never been swapped, has it? My goodness me. Apricot. Am I the only one that can read this? Pale tan. We're all, we're all old, apart from Jamie, actually. Fruit pink, baby pink, high ranger, and lilac. Stay there, Jamie, stay there. Oh, blimey, me. Next is Seascape. Flip that round. Oh. Oh, here we go. So, ice green, teal, blue turquoise, navy blue, periwinkle, brown grey, red brown. Yep. Pecan, earth brown, and then sand. <laughs> <laughs> is it better or worse when I do this? Then you've got your figure. Oh, I mean, this is... This is brilliant. TV, BAFTA will be on the phone, dear. Rose blush, rose, portrait pink, <laughs> blush, linen, russet, leather, hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> Honeydew. <laughs> Honeydew. <laughs> Vanilla and mim mimosa. mimosa. Saw that one quite easily. And then lastly is your landscape. And then here, this is the most fun of a Oh, here we go. Light yellow, I'll do up and down. Forest green, olive green, sky blue, caramel, chartreuse, meadow, oak tree, bamboo, and green grey. Oh, two, two more. Two more, two more, keep going. Camo green mm -hmm. and green grey, five. Whoa, we were a little bit short of, uh, a little bit of, uh, tight for, not tight for time, we needed to fill a bit, so I filled there brilliantly by struggling to read what was on the packs. Oh, my eyes. Uh, £52 for all of that, $96. Um, well, I've now got to try and do the rest of the chart count and hopefully I can read this. Five to one, here we go. Oh dear. 
So this week's top five, you already know uh, five and four, but just to recap, making it into the top five this week, the decorative nesting dies collection. Great demo from Lily, and certainly you can go back and watch more of the shows from earlier in the week to pick up more inspiration on that set where you're getting all 42 dies for a brilliant price. Uh, number four, as we've just been through there, in great detail, the Illustrator 48 pen collection. Yes. Um, <laughs> there's my glasses. <laughs> oh dear, I left them on that table. Uh, £52.96 though for every cell I've gone through. But what's made it into the top three? In at number three. Oh, the gold Oh my gosh, I'm pads. psychic. <laughs> Lily knew. These were so, so busy earlier in the week on uh, Cartload with Debbie on Wednesday. These were flying out the door. Uh, you're getting all eight for just £24 or 36 bucks. And number two. Oh, oh, it's the Color Me Happy Anniversary Ooh. Mystery Bag. Yeah, that is incredible in there. You're going to be getting uh, the metallic pencils. You've got the duo color pencils in there. You've got sprays from Sheena's collection, misters and more. But what's made number one? I think you know. Yes, of course. Friday's Lords, the Tropical Paradise Collection. So many of you loved it. Uh, if you've missed out on it, your chance still to pick it up for that price of £92 or £128 dollars incredible value for money uh, and we're going to be having a look at this it's a collection that's come along at the right time deservedly getting the number one spot because you know what uh, we need a bit of tropical in our lives right now don't we with the weather as it is currently here in the uk so such a great collection so many of you loved it uh, when we launched it on friday and yes we do still have a few of the showstoppers available for you um listen it's the latest in the color trends collection so if you've loved what we've done uh, previously then you're absolutely going to want to jump in and grab this and as i say if you missed the launch on Friday, uh, you still got the chance to get everything. Um, I'll quickly take you through it all and show you the showstopper. Basically, you get everything within the Tropical Paradise um, uh, collection, and then we're also going to give you all of the extra goodies within the showstopper as well. So you're going to get your uh, rocker blocks in the pack. You've got your matte black card. You're also getting a pot of your tacky glue, 100 mil of that. You've got your blending tools with the refills and your mixed media mat. In essence, for an extra £20 or $30, you're getting £52 or $68 worth of goodies and then of course uh, you get all of the fantastic goodies within the set i'll show you the hardware um, and then we can show you like all of the sprays that you're going to get all of the pearls and adornments it's a beautiful set embossing folder is stunning i mean i, I just want that on a hawaiian shirt if i'm being honest oh, with you oh dear i can see that now yeah mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh -oh. All those uh, tropical leaves on. Again, the stamps, I mean, just make me a shirt. You've got the lovebirds there, of course. You've got cocktails. You've got the tropical florals on there, too. Um, is that one another lovebird, or is that one a parrot or parakeet? Two, toucan, I don't know. Toucan. Parakeet. Toucan some play that sort game. of tropical bird. Yeah, some tropical bird. We'll go with that. You've got a lovely, lovely set of sentiments on here as well. The, the dye sentiments that we're, uh, we've done recently, I think, are absolutely brilliant. They're so useful, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, I have to say they are getting better and better. And I was uh, saying about this, I think it was on Monday's show, feels like a lifetime ago. I'm loving at the moment mixing and matching sentiments. So maybe mm. we've got you stamps. You could then create yeah. the love you. Uh, lots of different scope with those. But I love the font. It's super funky, isn't it? Yeah, cheers, tropical and love. And then, of course, we've got some absolutely brilliant stencils for you as well. Again, all with that tropical vibes and beautiful florals and foliage uh, and those um, those are those cheese leaf, uh, it's a cheese leaf plant. Cheese plant. It? Yeah, cheese plant. Cheese, cheese plant. plant leaf. Cheese plant leaf, exactly right. Um, yes, exactly right. And then uh, on top of all of that, you're gonna get all of your mixed media goodies as well within the actual, um, uh, set so you can see you've got in here uh, another duet ink pad you've also got your shimmer ink pad in there too uh, alongside that you're going to be getting beautiful shimmer spray that one is your um, birds of paradise you've got glitter glue glitter paste chunky glitter paste there's pearls in here uh, there's adhesive gems in here too plus paint markers you've got a tricolor brush pen and more it's a huge collection i know lily is going to be doing a quick demo with this but what i would say to you is if you missed the launch yesterday um, do go back and watch it um, in fact you've got two shows that you can go back and watch yesterday uh, not yesterday friday rather uh, with uh, debbie a double launch so do make sure you pop back and watch that but what can you show us lily in about the last sort of 10 minutes of the show Let's get going with a few techniques, I think. Okay. Let's start off with that fabulous embossing folder. Love the name of this one, Lost in Paradise. Oh. oh quite romantic that, isn't it? It is. So let's start off with a piece of cardstock. I'm just working out what sort of cardstock. It's multi-purpose cardstock. All of about 24 hours ago, I prepped this. What a long time that was. <laughs> so this is about five and a half inches by three and a half. And all we're going to do is going to take our embossing folder, 
I'm going to pop this inside, making sure we're finding out which side is the embossed. I mean, it doesn't really matter because this is uh, double-sided yeah. cardstock. Uh, and then we're just going to place that on the inside. It is a 2D embossing folder, so we're going to need to be using our two, uh, I was just about to call them clear cutting plates. We know they're not no. clear, but I, I still can't get used to that. I mean, about a year later, I'm still calling <laughs> clear cutting plates. Our two cutting plates for this one being a uh, 2D embossing folder. Your Gemini Junior plates will work an absolute treat for this size of folder as well. So run that through our die cutting machine and you can see one pass through that machine and we have got that lovely embossed panel onto there. I know it doesn't show particularly well uh, with it being white on white but this is where we're going to bring some ink in to actually highlight that a little bit more. Let's take one of the beautiful ink pads from that collection, this one being our hum Hummingbird uh, Duet ink pad. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous colour this one, you wait till we're, we start to lay this down, it's just absolutely stunning. Just going to take our blending tool, uh, here we're using the square but of course you could use the round that you're getting uh, as part of that showstopper as well. I'm going to start to bring in some of that colour, going around in circular motions to get that lovely smooth lay down of colour onto our sheet of cardstock and then just sort of working off the page, so starting slightly off the page on our glass mat and then just blending that colour onto our piece of cardstock to start to highlight that design, to start to bring out all that beautiful embossed detail uh, that's been laid down onto our cardstock. So just starting to build up that colour. It's up to you how uh, sort of deep you want that colour to be. Uh, you can go really subtle and just have that really uh, light hint of a tint to sort of highlight that detail a little bit more. Or you can really go to town and really colourise uh, that background so you've got that beautiful uh, depth of colour. That looks about good to me, I'm happy with that. Happy because I've got inky fingers as well. I'm in my happy crafty zone. My goodness me, you should have seen my fingers yesterday. They were literally bright blue. I thought, oh, I can't, can't nip out to the shops looking like this. It looks, looks <laughs> awful. What have you been doing? I've been playing with inks. That's what I've been doing. Uh, all part of the fun. But the fact that these are water-based means they wash off easily. Let's take our water spritzer. And for a little bit more interest, we're just going to spritz lightly over the background. I always say if you want larger drops uh, of water, if you want uh, those larger drops, just take uh, some water. I've just got a cup of cold water here and then just splat them on using your fingers and that's going to give you those larger water droplets if that's the effect you wanted to go for. Yep. Then let's just dab that off using a rather large piece of kitchen towel, but it's about the size of a duvet. That look the size of that, it's massive. <laughs> uh, just blot that off using your uh, piece of kitchen towel and you can see there you've got that lovely oxidised uh, sort of bleached effect just to add that extra little bit of interest. Then let's pop that onto some black to really make that pop. So just a really thin border of black, doesn't that make a massive difference onto yeah. there? Makes that uh, really sort of come to life. So let's take uh, one of our uh, tape pens and then that's just gonna go onto our matting layer. It's about a quarter of an inch there, uh, just for that really nice thin border laying that down onto there just like so and then we're popping that onto our card base quite a small card for me i have to say mm. these days i tend to go for larger cards but i thought you know what let's go for quite a small sweet little card yeah uh, so if you wanted to pop something through the post and you're worrying about uh, the cost of postage cool. I know a lot cost of postage oh we don't even talk about that even anymore do we it's i bought horrendous. i bought a book of eight first class stamps the other day right 10 you quid <gasps> You're kidding. Nah. That is horrendous. That's absolutely horrendous. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. I still have in my mind that first class stamps are 19p, but they're so, certainly not 19p anymore. Well, I mean, more like close to 19 quid these days. <laughs> yeah. Mummy yeah. next. Absolutely awful. Oh dear. And I know a lot of our US friends as well, they uh, favour their uh, smaller cards. Yeah. So this one's going to be ideal for you guys over in the US as well. Taking one of those fabulous sentiments. This is the Cheers. I'm going to be cutting that from some of our black card stock. So we run that through our die cutting machine and these are really quite small dies so they're going to be ideal if you've got those Gemini mini machines as well. Uh, if you're wanting to craft on the go that's going to be perfect for that too. So let's just pop that out of there, beautiful detail on here. And it's a nice uh, sort of swirly script style font but not so much so that it's difficult to read, it's still very much readable uh, which is something I absolutely love with these. So that's just going to uh, go into there like so. We've cut another one from some of our white card stock. I'm deciding, do I want white onto there with a black drop shadow mm, or should no. we go black? Let's go dramatic, let's go for yeah. the black. So then let's just take some of our dotty tape pen 
and drop shadow these together. Such a cool looking card, but the genius here is the simplicity of it, I think, isn't so, it? So, so super simple. Yeah. I mean, of course, you could be bringing in some of those stamps if you wanted, yeah. uh, maybe adding some of the leaves onto there, some of the cocktail glasses, even the birds will look super cool. But I thought, do you know what? Let's take it really back to basics, show mm. you a quick technique with that duet ink pad uh, and show you how easy it is to create the quickest cards. I mean, we have literally created this from scratch, haven't we? All we did ahead of time is we did a little bit uh, of trimming down our mats and layers, but apart from that, you have seen it created from scratch. And then the final finishing touch, of course, will be to stick our drop shadow sentiment onto our card base. Now, I have found that you can just about get some of your uh, foam pads behind this if you snip them down. It is doable, you know what I'm like for foam tape and foam pads. If you snip them down so they're quite nice and thin, you can just about uh, fit them behind there. Uh, but uh, we're going in with our dotted tape pen now just for speed. I don't think any of you guys at home want to see me chopping down foam pads for the next 10 minutes. Uh, but just to finish that off, how super, super quick and simple is that? It's like yeah. a card in about five minutes, if that. Uh, using just a few elements from that collection, you've got that fabulous embossing fold in the background, inked using those duet ink pads, bit of flow bleaching, sentiment on top, boom, job done. Super, super easy. Well, cheers to you. That is marvellous. And again, if you want more info and more inspiration from that set, uh, you can go back to Friday's double launch shows, uh, one and five. And of course, if you don't want the showstopper, you can still get the Essentials Collection available on the website for you. But let us recap on everything on this week's Second Chance Sunday. What did make that top 10? What's still available? Let's have a look as we recap this week's chart. Bit of jam-packed week and so many great items. At number 10, the Cheers to You collection, which was so popular on Cartload back on Wednesday with Debbie. It's the essential set for an unbelievable deal. One of my favorite launches of the last six months and this week's number 10. In at number nine, it's the Ultimate Pro with Boxer Board. Again, if you go back to uh, Wednesday, see Sarah's masterclass with that. She did so many great projects, showed you all around the Ultimate Pro. Very busy for that uh, and lots of people now understanding the magic ruler technique. This week's number eight is the floral frame cut and embossing folders. Again, these are just brilliant. If you want to create quick but stunning looking cards, uh, then these are something you will definitely want to get into your crafty armory and the floral is going to work for many occasions. It's a new entry at number seven. It's the Luxury Mirror Card Pads Collection. Uh, Wednesday's your day for this again. Go back to that masterclass with Cyrus. She was using uh, both of the pads to make boxes and um, envelopes as well. This week's non-mover is number six. That's not actually a non-mover, it's new. Uh, the Corner Edgeables collection, again, what a launch this was uh, just the week before, but we've featured them a lot throughout this week. I think some of the best edgeables that we've done, and it's a brilliant nine-piece collection. In at number five, as you saw earlier on in the show, kicked off the show with a fabulous demo with the decorative nesting dies. All of these great um, designs, you're getting 42 dies in total. Uh, a really, really handy kit to go for. Number four, uh, again, as you saw in the show, the Illustrator collection, you're getting 48 of the colors within that set. Uh, you've got the 12 piece sketching, the 12 piece landscape, your figure, and also the seascape at an unbelievable price. Making it to this week's number three, as we mentioned, the Gold Shimmer Ink Pad Collection, again proved so popular earlier on in the week. The eight-piece collection at a stunning, stunning price. If you need to stock up on those, it is a great day to jump in and grab them. Narrowly missing out on the coveted number one spot. Uh, in at number two is the mystery bag. Um, some really, really great goodies in here from the metallic pencils to your duo colors to the sprays from the Bella Luna collection. There's glitter paste, misters, and a selection of ink pads at an unbelievable price. And this week's number one great mate is the Tropical Paradise collection. Whether you're going down the showstopper route or indeed if you're just going for the essentials collection on its own, a brilliant set. Great quick demo from Lily there. And of course, go back to Friday's shows to see loads of inspiration and details on that amazing collection this week's number one on Second Chance Sunday. Fun that, wasn't it? I really enjoy the new Second Chance Sundays and uh, that is just about it. Um, hopefully you've been chatting along uh, and let us know if you're enjoying them as well. Uh, we will be back again, of course, uh, next week with a brand new countdown. But thank you, Lily. That was uh, much fun and hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did, yeah, I love that. Something a little bit different, but hopefully you guys at home have enjoyed it just as so much and grab yourself a bargain as well.
Yeah, make sure you keep shopping, of course, uh, over the course of the rest of the weekend and then get ready for next week. Get ready to buckle up, buckle in, uh, well, however you want to do it. Uh, we've got six brand new launches for you next week. And I know it's probably, for most people, going to be one of those uh, weeks where you have to kind of decide where you're going to uh, spend those pennies. But there will be some big decisions to be made. I think some of the best launches of the year so far. And I'm kicking off tomorrow with Leanne so you know it's a big launch when Chivs is going to be in the studio two shows with her tomorrow I think a lot of you have an idea as to what the launch is tomorrow but I'm not going to say much more um, if you were watching this week you'll know because we've already talked about it and we previewed it uh, but join us tomorrow live at one and five and of course right throughout the week for i think probably one of the best weeks of the year so far uh, once again thank you so much for watching massive thank you to lily for all of the inspiration and a big thank you to the team as well as always uh, enjoy the rest of your sunday second chance sunday same time next week and i'll see you with leanne live tomorrow here on crafters tv until then bye for now <laughs>